we've given our chefs a challenge as part of this introduction to the Coaching In Group Chefs Academy. Each person has selected a protein and they've got 45 minutes to cook one main course. The prize on offer, they've got a two night stay at our luxurious hotel in Conway. The first night working with our experienced AA Rosette chef Lee, the second night there will be cooked a five course tasting menu with wine pairings. It's a fantastic prize on offer, they've got 45 minutes to prepare the best dish they can, being judged on creativity, taste, presentation and food safety. Let's see what they come up with. What's it gonna be when I'm alone in this world? The launch of our Chefs Academy is the perfect tool to help guide our younger guys in the kitchen and the more less experienced team members to become our future head chefs. They are the lifeblood of our kitchens. We need to grow our own and this is a perfect example of how we're doing it. These guys on days like this stretching their potential will really help them push through and become better chefs and in fact our head chefs of the future. The actual Chefs Academy, the content they've offered us um, is probably one of the lifetime, well, a lot of the lifetime chance. Um, the actual content covers up every aspect of what I need to learn, um, and I believe what other people need to learn, um, and it brings back a lot of classic techniques for chefs. It's interesting, I think, because um, there's a lot of different types of proteins available and I know they had a little competition to find out which one they would get so it, it, I, I don't know which one I'd prefer really because there's some some that I would probably naturally go towards. Yeah, I don't, definitely, you know, if you've got chicken you would all think, oh chicken that's great, I know but everybody knows what to do with chicken, it can be easily overcooked mm -hmm. so actually you're probably going to have to work a little bit harder with that yeah. uh, and obviously the, the the outcome of this cook offer is to make the protein the star of the dish. So maybe the fish, the card, the trait, yeah. has got that bit more flavour. So maybe you don't have to do too much to that to uh, to, to get to come out of itself. But yeah. chicken, I think you're gonna have to work a little bit harder. I think so. It's it's very very easy to mess something like a piece of chicken up, isn't it? And you you've really got to put like a wild wow factor on there. Uh, if I've got something like the lamb, for instance, I know I wouldn't have to do a lot to it. It would almost speak for itself. And, I'll be able to concentrate on the garnish. So I think it's definitely interesting the different things that they've got. It's all going pretty well. They're all busy frying away now, lots of hot action over there. Uh, some really great preps, some really good knife skills you've seen. Uh, Josh had an absolute fantastic trimming of the lamb. Uh, some great dice in here, lovely flavours going on. Uh, really excited to try some of these dishes. Okay chefs, 10 minutes to go. Okay, so I've made a citrus sea trout with a Mediterranean couscous and some sauteed chorizo and cherry tomatoes to finish off. It is a pork chop with garlic mashed potatoes, paper and lemon and parsley butter with streaky bacon and wrapped pancakes. So we've got pan fried yeah. cod with a lemon and asparagus risotto and a pizza salsa. Today I've got pan roasted lamb, uh, lamb rack with a comfy celery egg. Um, I've done a rectangle as a base for dish and the main starch of the dish. The sauteed wild mushrooms and le uh, lemon cured cauliflower and just finished with red wine reduction. We've got a wild mushroom risotto, a bit of coriander in there, a bit of parsley, a bit of thyme. Uh, Parmesan crisp in between a uh, oh, panatine chicken, a bit of uh, butter, coriander butter, garlic butter rolled in there as well. That's nice and I have to say, 
chefs, some really inspired cooking there. Some of the flavours that we've got going on in those dishes are truly remarkable to say you only saw these ingredients for the first time a couple of hours ago. Uh, I think you're all really proud of what you've done actually. It's uh, not easy to come in and just cook off the cuff like that, but every single one of those dishes I think would happily have a place on any one of our menus. To actually have a dish ready within that period, but also have to, have to do the prep as well. Um, it, it's a whole you know, different you know, skill set. Um, I think it's a bit of fun as well. I, hope, I know there was some nerves, there was a bit of anxiety, there was a bit of all oh, what's going to happen, but I hope you, you know, at the end of it, you did find it quite you know, fun. And to be honest, you know, the passion came through in the dishes. The passion of a chef, you can always tell by what flavour they put into a dish, the love they put into a dish, and it just screamed out in every single one of those dishes. Um, naturally, we have gone through each dish and uh, got a bit of. <laughs> there can only be one winner, which to be fair is a massive shame actually because um, you're all winners. Yeah. It was so very close and I cannot uh, stress that enough, but yeah, there was one winner and the winner only lost one mark across the whole range of things. Uh, to be fair, there was only three marks in it between all of you, so uh, that's how close it was. Yeah, it was very tight. But our winner on this one in particular, and getting the, the trip to Conway, spent time with Lee, and getting the five course tasted menu, wine pairings, congratulations to Josh. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done.